Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the topic we talked in our last video, creating a child theme manually. So for some reason, you don't want to install another plugin into your WordPress environment, and yet you want to create a child theme for yourself, and we want to create it manually. So this will be a little adventure of ours. We're gonna head over to our FTP and create a child theme for ourselves. And let's view the front side as of now, and let's go to appearance as well. So we're gonna see that we are using the event listing theme that provided by WP Event Manager. I hope you guys already know what the theme actually looks like. So let's go to the event dashboard over here, uh, the event listing page, organizer dashboard. Let's go inside and event as well to view it. So this is what the template looks like in rough. So we're gonna create a child theme for ourselves that resembles of this layout uh, of the parent theme, and we can talk about more about child theme in the process as well okay so for this tutorial you need a file manager uh, let's say a ftp file manager or your web host default file manager works just fine uh, all you have to do head inside your website's root uh, public html then inside wp content then inside themes so here we will create a new folder first so we can say uh, type even listing child okay so we can uh, remember what theme is the parent and what theme is the child so even listing child it is let's click on okay and it will create a folder for us very shortly then we're gonna go inside the newly created folder and we're gonna have to create a file called style.css so in wordpress all the themes have a base style.css that defines the theme data like not like actual templating data but uh, the theme data such as like theme name theme url description author and all that metadata okay so here we need to uh, like define the theme metadata for ourselves i have some code copied to my clipboard that i'm gonna post on my github that we will link uh, in the description uh, that you can copy paste on your css okay so this is the metadata all we need for the style.css okay so theme name theme uri theme description and then theme author author url template version license and like tags and then text domain okay so we don't really need the text domain and tag section over here we can remove that and we will keep uh, all the let's say uh, metas over here okay so you can feel free to modify the description over here the author over here as well the name theme URI and keep the template section uh, intact as of now I'm going to explain it in a very short moment you can modify the version as well license as well or license URI only thing to care about is template over here that I'm going to explain in a moment okay so let's modify the other fields very quickly and we're gonna name our team name as even listing child theme theme URI uh, we can let's say type in our official website address and then uh, author URI we can type in WP manager and we can type in our website here as well okay so this give you a bit of a rough idea about like values you can enter over here but only thing to care about is template okay so in here we need to type in the original template or the parent template we are gonna use so 2015 is a wordpress template but uh, we are not gonna use that uh, we're gonna use the event listing template uh, or the email listing theme that's our parent theme so that's this one over here and write its name okay event listing okay so make sure you get the template section right over here so this uh, template name will be the most likely the folder name under wp content and theme that you can uh, write over here okay so now let's save uh, the css file and one more like i'm i'm telling one more time that please do not mess up the template tag over here or the template value make sure uh, you use the actual folder name inside the themes folder of your parent theme okay let's say if you wanted to make a child theme for 2019 we had to copy this uh, entire text or the folder name and paste it under template section okay so since we are using the even listing i typed in the exact uh, folder name on the style.css under our child theme folder okay so 
get that correct and you should be good otherwise all the other values you can adjust as per your need okay so the style css part is actually uh, done now we need to create an functions.php that will be the like let's say brain for our uh, child theme okay so let's go ahead and create a functions.php and we're gonna paste a bit of code over there and then we're gonna explain what's going on inside uh, when we paste the code okay Let me... so this is the code we require and all it needs is like two blocks so i'm gonna explain the codes uh, very briefly all we are doing over here we are including and custom css that we just created so style.css that includes our metadata for our child theme and uh, we are uh, let's say including this custom function over here that actually uh, helps us to uh, inject the css style so you don't have to worry about the explanation at all you can just copy paste this code on your functions.php and forget about it okay so let's save these changes and by the way you do not have to do this on your ftp as well you can do it on your local computer make a zip file and upload it into wordpress that will work too okay so it's time now to reload this themes page over here so now you see the event listing child theme is appearing over here but you ask why sure uh, there is like no uh, like screenshot or thumbnail over here because we didn't provide any so to get a thumbnail for our uh, theme over here all we need to do is create a png file that resembles our theme you can like use any png file if you want but that's not really the point over here so what you're gonna do we're gonna use our built-in snipper tool for windows and we're gonna like let's say snip this portion of the area and we saved as png on our computer then we're gonna upload it later on okay so let's click and we're gonna save it as screenshot with a small s okay good and then we're gonna close this and we can upload our file into the ftp okay let's navigate here right and this is uh, the part which is very crucial you do not uh, have to like capture the screenshot of this website but make sure you name the file as screenshot.png all small letter okay so let it upload for a second and then we're gonna reload our page over here and voila we have the screenshot over here in the uh, theme section so that's how easy it is to create a screenshot or like thumbnail for your child theme so this is the manual way so the hard part is over now we can go ahead and activate our theme so you probably remember uh, how our parent theme looked like and if we reload this page we will see absolute no changes okay absolute no changes so this is the exact replica of our parent theme over here event listing right so if we like go ahead and activate this theme as well uh, it will look the same so we are uh, inheriting all the styles all the uh, layout from our uh, parent theme over here into this child theme using just two file and all the changes we make to our child theme over here will get uh, saved and will not get overwritten if we update our parent theme so that's how cool it is and how easy it is to create a child theme for yourself within like let's say five minutes or so so i hope this video gave you a bit of idea and take uh, whichever way you prefer you can use the plugin that i showed in our previous video or you can use this method as well so let us know in the comment what's the best method you think the manual way or the plugin way drop some video ideas as well if you want we will try to make that happen as well and if you found this video helpful toss a like leave a comment and maybe share with your friends as well so being that said that's pretty much wraps it up for this video i'm sure saying goodbye thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one